Welcome back to another video. My name is Derek and today we're going to be taking a look at this iPad. It's completely dead. The story is that it was working, went into charge one night and the next morning woke up and it hadn't powered on, it hadn't charged and there was no response. So today we're going to be opening it up, looking at it and seeing if we can find out what's, what, what happened, what went wrong and see if we can fix it. Let's get into the video. All right, so we've got the digitizer and display off. The battery has some some kind of pressure where you can see where it's been rubbing against the back of the display, but it's not swollen. Could be that there's something going on with the battery. Could be that there's something going on with the TriStar, hard to say. And after maybe six or seven years, my TriStar tester finally failed. I think the battery got swollen, stopped uh, taking charge. Um, so it's not working. I'm going to see if I can actually get it to work. I just took it apart so I could inject some voltage into the battery. All right, so got my power supply voltage set at 3.7, 3.7 volts. So we'll put the black probe to the black wire and we're going to put the red on the red and we're going to watch the amperage go in and do this for maybe 10 seconds or so. Give that battery a chance to just speed charge real quick. Now let's see if this will turn on. It turns on. Okay, could have tested the TriStar before taking this out, but let's go ahead and plug this in. It says device connected, quick test. Dock test's okay. And the TriStar tester is moving through. It's gonna probably pause a little bit. This is my one of my slower TriStar. Can't find the other one. TriStar testers it is hanging a lot on that 63, which means it might just have a bad TriStar. And that might be the cause of it not wanting to charge or power on or anything like that. So warning, it says fail. So let's, let's look at the details. And it does fail on one of the TriStar lines. That tells us that it definitely has an issue with TriStar. So let's take a look and replace that and see how it goes. So now we just need to remove the motherboard. So I'm gonna take out the bottom two screws, battery screw, and the screws on this top plate that go across the top. Now I know some people will just simply take out the TriStar, leaving the motherboard in the frame. I just don't feel comfortable doing that on, the, on any of the iPads just because I hate how close I am to a lithium cell. And when I'm under a microscope, I can only really see what I can see in the field of view under the microscope. So I couldn't tell unless I, if I'm damaging something like the battery with the hot air. So I'm gonna make sure we disconnect the SIM and these coax connectors. We'll disconnect the speakers. I'll use a spudger and pry up the charge port. Whoops. I'll use some isopropyl alcohol to help loosen up the adhesive under the motherboard. And before I forget, we'll also disconnect the flexes here and we'll do the ones at the top, like here, the camera, these coax cables and pull out the charge port now. Now we can push the spudger up a little bit more, add more isopropyl alcohol so the board lets go without flexing it too much. And we'll continue to slide the spudger up until the board wants to pop away. All right, and out comes the board. And set this aside for now. Grab the shield that's protecting the board on the corner here. And we'll lift it up, pop this guy off, and we'll take a look at our TriStar. All right, so I've got this old iPhone 7. Quickly run a TriStar tester on it. All right, so charge port test fine. TriStar tester died. Let me go uh, jump it again and give it some more juice. All right, we got it juice to do it and test it again. We'll plug it in, test the dock. It's okay. We'll test TriStar. There, you can see better there. All right, and it passes. So we can steal our TriStar from this old iPhone 7. I wonder if it's it's missing the penelobes, so I might be able to just pry on it. All right, let's open it up. All right, so we got the motherboard out. We'll secure it and we'll lift off the shield. There we go. All right, so now we just gotta remove our TriStar here. Just gonna gently wait for it to move. Just kind of tapping on it from the sides. And 
there it's off. Now let's take our motherboard. So what I've basically done is scored the top of the, the metal here with the blade. And I'm going to squeeze on the frame here. And I'm just going to carefully remove the uh, this corner of the shield. And I'm just going to take my time to carefully go around and remove it. And we've almost got it cleared. Now if you do this right it won't shear away the uh, the ground plane of the board. If you do it too aggressively you might pop the, the ground frame, the grounding portion where the uh, shield makes contact. You might tear it off. If you just let the solder joint crack instead that'll be good. Alright so we've got our 610A3B that's the same chip and you can see the dot. The dot is up here in this corner so that'll be easy. I've put a shield to kind of cover up the plastic connectors here just to make sure we don't hit them. <clears throat> and we'll come in with our hot air and we'll pop it off. What's quite nice is this top section doesn't have any components. So when it does come off, I can basically just slide it upwards like that. That way I won't knock off any components. And we're in and out there. We're in and out in a time where it'll not overheat the area. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit of flux down in there. We'll come in with our soldering iron. I've got a little bit of 138 on the tip of my iron. This will help as I go around to help lower the overall temperature that the solder needs to get to in order to uh, want to be wicked off the board. I'm gonna flip the board around so that it's easier for me to get at it. All right, we'll get out some wick. I'm gonna go in and try to remove all of that solder. We'll slide up towards the top and slowly wick it away. All right, so those first four rows now look really good. I'll flip this around and get a different angle on the other grouping there and then we'll wick away those pads. Okay, take a Q-tip and some isopropyl alcohol and we'll clean up all of that flux. All right, I do have one pad that's a bit bigger than the others, but I'm not concerned about it. I just need to make sure I got it, I get it perfectly aligned. Okay, we're gonna get out a silicone mat and we'll get out our TriStar that we've pulled. Let's flip it over. Add some flux. We'll come in with our iron and we're going to just try to get as much of the factory solder off of this guy just by hovering the iron over top of it, letting the solder kind of ball up and stick to the iron tip. Not all of it's going to come up, but that's okay. That's perfect. I'm just going to wipe away the bulk of the flux there. Add some isopropyl alcohol. Now we get out our stencil. Got one here for the iPhone 7, 7 Plus. And we will find our TriStar portion right here. There we go. We'll take a little bit of solder paste, take our wipe, turn on our hot air, and let's reball it real quick, just like that. Let it cool down, push it out of the stencil. Now we've got a properly balled IC. All right, we'll grab our motherboard, add some flux. Don't need a crazy amount. We'll gently spread it around without scraping the board at all. All right, we've got the dot in that top right corner. Let's line this guy up, shield off the plastic parts, and come in with our hot air, and we'll heat it up. And I'm gonna get ready to nudge the, the TriStar with my tweezers here as soon as I see it drop. When it drops, we'll just gently give it a nudge, and you can see how the tweezers are kind of shaking. That's just my hand shaking, so I almost use that shakiness to my advantage. So we see things starting to want to melt, or it's starting to drop. Give it a little nudge, just like that, and we'll let it cool down and take off that shield. You see we didn't melt any of the plastic connectors, or even this little sticker here. Now I'm just going to clean up whatever flux I can with the Q-tip and some isopropyl alcohol. And now let's go plug it in and see if it works. All right, at this point, all I really need to do is plug in our TriStar tester. All right, so we'll plug it in. All right, it says device connected. <laughs> you can see how, oh, that's interesting in the camera. You can actually see the refresh rate. All right, let's go ahead and do a quick test on it. Our charge port's okay, and now let's see if our TriStar is okay. So you can see that's the TriStar there, that's the corner. And if this passes, then we're basically in the clear, and I can really just assemble the supply pad and we're done. So. If we get a pass here, this is just where we're gonna end the video because that means it's fixed and we get a pass. All right, so 
we are all fixed. So yeah, I just need to reassemble it. All right, so there we've replaced the issue, which was the TriStar in this case. It could have been something like the PMIC, it could have been a short on the motherboard. It's hard to tell right away what is causing an, a, a device to not charge, to not turn on, to not power on. So having a tool like the TriStar Tester, <laughs> even though this one needs either a new battery or, well, the issue is it's not charging, so I'm having to inject voltage into the battery, jump-starting it. It's also seven or eight years old, so it, you know, probably just a battery. <laughs> but that being said, having a tool like that allows allows to easily troubleshoot an issue with, with basically any Apple device. And also knowing where I can source a compatible component, in this case, the TriStar. This iPad, this iPad was the Model A 2200 or the iPad 10.7 or the iPad 10.2 seventh gen. So this this TriStar is compatible with the iPhone 7, 7 Plus. So that's why I was able to source it from there, reball it and install it after properly cleaning up the board to receive it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If there's something that you'd like to see in a future video, let me know. Thanks a ton for watching and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.